YouTube, SuperCharge.us here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install XBMC onto the new Ouya gaming console. Alright, now you can do this with your remote, the regular remote that comes with it. You don't need a special type of keyboard or nothing like that, mouse or nothing like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and power it on and start from the very beginning so everybody can follow along. There'll be no mistakes. we just start from the first one to start. Okay, first thing you want to do is you want to go to Make. And now you want to go to Browser. These icons are only here because I've already done the process. But you just go to Browser, that'll be there. Select it. The O button. And when this menu comes up, you might need to do however you do to get to there. You got to get to this right here. So what I usually do is I usually click on one of the links and then when it goes to change, I just use the mouse pad of my remote control to navigate the mouse upward and I just click in the direction where the page is loading to get the mouse to get the uh, arrow where I need it to be alright so you just tap again like that and then you just backspace all the way to the beginning and you want to type in xbmc dot org forward slash downloads oh I'm sorry just download xbmc.org forward slash download just like that when you get to this page I'll, of course I'll put a link in the description and if you're on this device you can just click on the link on this on the Ouya gaming console and it's gonna bring you to it this one right here you just click on it and it'll say download started now after you click on it you have to wait on this page for maybe a minute or two. Depending on your internet connection, if I was you, I would just wait maybe three minutes just to be sure because you need to download that before you back all the way out of your browser. So just if you want to go and do something else on the browser, that's fine. Just don't leave and go and, and close the web browser entirely for a few minutes. Alright, so now we're back about three minutes later. What you need to do is, you need to go and take your remote control, press that button, and that will bring you back off of that page to this page. And once you get to this page again, to go and find XBMC, you go to Manage, System, Advanced, and then scroll down to Storage. Select that one with the O button, that button right there. That's the button you select with, and you go down to downloads right there. Select that one, and your downloads will be right here. Mine's already installed, but what you would, you would do is you would go ahead and press that right there, and it'll ask you, it'll ask you, do you want to install it? Say install it. If when it asks you, do you want to install it? You simply call it, so select yes, install, and that's it. It's that simple. It'll be in any AP, APT file, yeah, I'm sorry, any APK file, you can download and do it the same way, or zip file. Alright, so once you've done that, this process here doesn't take very long. It'll show you on the screen right there whenever the download is finished installing. So that's all you have to do. After that, you just start to hit the back button right there. Keep going back to the very beginning and then navigate down to make and then right there under make you should see XPMC and I'm going to say that XPMC as you can see starts up very fast this Ouya console is very powerful this quad core processor pushes XPMC like nothing I've seen I'm very impressed with this device look at that works great right <laughs> And it works wonderful. This is in full HD 1080p. This is just real quick. I'm just going to start something up to show you guys how good and fast this really works. Go ahead and set the, the view up to where I can see what the episodes are about and when they air. Because this will be the latest, most up to date stuff. Just 
go ahead and start one real quick. Show you that it works and everything. We just installed it. And sometimes it takes a few seconds at the beginning to get the connection connected fully. I'll go ahead and fast forward a little bit. It, it takes a second to fast forward. But as you can see, it does fast forward very well. See that? I can just keep doing and doing it. It doesn't stop. All right, this is supercharged iOS. I'm gonna go ahead and back out of that all the way. Hope this video was helpful. Please check out our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash charged iOS. See you guys in the next video. Peace.